Good morning, this is Charles with the Columbia Basin Herald, and it is Tuesday, December 19th, and here's a little bit of what's going to be in our newspaper today. A shooting that sent a Moses Lake man to a Spokane hospital in serious condition Friday afternoon may have been a joke that went wrong. Dante Scott, 28, of Moses Lake, was in serious condition at an undisclosed Spokane hospital, according to a press release from the Moses Lake Police Department. Scott was shot four times during an incident reported at about 4.30 Friday afternoon in the 1000 block of East Lake Drive. Scott allegedly went to an apartment in the complex and pounded on the door, the press release said. Scott then started opening the door to the apartment, and at that point, a 23-year-old inside the apartment, fearing an armed intruder was entering, fired six rounds through the door, striking Scott four times. Scott was known to some of the apartment residents and was apparently playing a joke, the press release said. No charges are expected against the 23-year-old occupant, while Scott, who is currently in a Spokane hospital, is expected to be charged with brandishing a firearm and possession of cocaine. Peninsula Elementary School in Moses Lake went into a brief lockdown Monday afternoon after a teacher reported hearing possible gunshots. Moses Lake School District spokesperson McKenna Rice told the Columbia Basin Herald a paraeducator at the school reported hearing gunshots in the area and the Moses Lake Police Department was notified. Police responded and the school went into a brief lockdown from 12.45 to a little after 1 p.m. The report was unfounded and cleared by the police department prior to the lifting of the lockdown, Rice said. A former Quincy police officer and current Grant County Sheriff's office deputy, was recognized for his work combating underage sex trafficking. In 2015, while employed with the Quincy Police, Deputy Mark Panic worked with the FBI, and together they conducted an investigation that culminated in convictions of production of child pornography, child sex trafficking, coercion, and enticement of a minor to engage in a criminal activity. The investigation led to a 25-year-old federal prison sentence for Eric J. Perez of Yakima and seven years in a federal prison for Alberto Castro Jr. of Quincy. A Moses Lake man who drank as many as eight beers in the hours before a serious injury collision near Wharton in November will be spending three months in jail. Jose Medina Jimenez, 25, of Moses Lake, pled guilty in Grant County Superior Court to vehicular assault under the influence. Following a joint recommendation between Deputy Prosecutor Kevin McRae and Defense Attorney Robert Kentzer, Judge John Antos sentenced Medina Jimenez to three months in jail. In the evening hours of November 5th, Medina Jimenez was driving a 2005 Ford Expedition west on State Route 170, about two miles west of Warden, when he lost control of the SUV. The expedition rolled and came to a rest on the westbound State Route 170 shoulder on its wheels, according to the Washington State Patrol. And finally, if you don't have any plans for Wednesday afternoon, then you might want to venture out to the Columbia Basin Elks Lodge and enjoy a free Christmas dinner with other community members. The dinner will be cooked and served by First Choice Services, which helps people with disabilities find employment, and the Columbia Basin Elks Lodge. The dinner itself will be held at the Columbia Basin Elks Lodge, which is at 814 North Stratford Road, from 12 to 3 p.m. And if you want any more information on this event, please contact the Elk Lodge and call them at 509-765-0641. Well, that's it for details on these and other stories. Please check out our website, www.columbiabasin.com, all one really long word, or buy the paper, it's only a dollar. Stay warm and stay dry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.